Brandy Melville lift. This is so skinny, why is it so skinny? Look, look at where my bag fits. Oh, hello. This big red velvet curtain on the front door. I'm screaming. Okay, Moulin Rouge. I'm in Paris and I'm so excited to be here. I love this city. I booked this trip in November because one of my best friends, Celeste, moved out here just under a year ago now. And I actually came with her for her final job interview before moving over. And she found out she got the job on the Friday and we literally had the best weekend. I did blog it, so you can go back and watch that if you want. And we're having a full circle moment because Celeste is now moving back to London. This is our penultimate weekend here, so we're gonna go out with a bang. Celeste is just at work. I haven't had anything for lunch and I wanna go and have a little mooch around the city, especially whilst the sun is shining because I actually think it's supposed to be raining basically the whole weekend. Last time my outfits were so like meticulously planned and they popped off, I'm not gonna lie guys. This time I saw the weather forecast and saw that it was supposed to be basically raining the whole time. I also had no time to pack because I've been working all week. You guys know I've been moving. My flat is chaos. The clothes are just like all in boxes and bags. And I also had to finish editing a video last night because I needed to send it for submission today for an ad. So I really did not have a lot of time, nor energy, nor like, willpower to come up with anything special that being said the thrifting here is crazy good so i'm kind of hoping that i can find some stuff that i can wear although that will be a bit stinky and dirty because i won't be able to wash it before wearing it needs must you know what i mean okay i'm really hungry so i think i'm gonna head towards the lamare area um i panic ordered this because i keep seeing this combo on tiktok <laughs> the vlog Celeste. Hi vlog. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bienvenue à Paris. Oh wow. You know that girl who's like bonjour do you speak English? Bonjour that's me every day. <laughs> bonjour parlez yeah. vous en anglais. <laughs> you were speaking English last night with a French accent so she would go and speak to the wait waiter. Yeah waiter and she'd be like oh I've got this and go talk to him. <laughs> but in English with a French accent. She has to drop the Preston. The French don't understand the Preston accent. <laughs> Why the hell not? We are having a late start today because late night last night. Am I right, girl? Uh, you're right, girl. Stop it, girl. We are just gonna go, where are we going? We're gonna go get a pastry from somewhere. My favorite place, our favorite place, Manish, oh, is not open. And I literally only booked the trains because I wanted to go there. So I have to go, because I'm back here in April when my boyfriend's running the marathon. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping to some garrisols. Just a couple of girls and some wool just coats. A couple of girls. To stay warm. It's actually, thankfully, not supposed to rain that much today. So we're gonna go make the most of it in front of the sun. I was gifted these Danielle Guzio sunglasses the other day um so i'm gonna wear them i look like a bug though i'm just wearing the i think it's comptoir de cotonniers or something like that i got it on vintage it's vintage little wool 
Pico. I'm wearing Uniqlo Heat Tech underneath because no one's gonna see it. I guess you can wear it as a sweater vest, but I kind of just prefer it as like a knit top. It's the Peachy Den Gabrielle Vest in Buttercup, and this is a size small, and I normally wear a medium, so it's just like a bit more fitted, and I just preferred it like that. And then I got these Cos trousers. I was just in the store trying to kill time, and I thought they looked nice, so I tried them on, and I just needed like an everyday pair of casual black trousers. And they also have like a popper, so they're kind of can be tapered in at the bottom or just like worn as wide leg. And then I'm wearing my Vagabond loafers that I seem to wear like every day. <laughs> Trousers? Yes. Yeah, I like these. Yeah, they look lush. They are quite balloony, aren't they? Um, yeah, but that's you know. I'm not against it. stuff. This is definitely just like stolen people's parcels. That's so funny. up changing my train and going back home on the Sunday night instead of the Monday night. Celeste was going to be at work all day on Monday so I kind of feel like I was just going to be trying to waste time until my train because I didn't want to spend too much money and it was going to be raining and I kind of wanted to just come home and like sleep in my own bed and start the week right and like feel really refreshed. Yeah I just wanted to come back and sort out stuff because I'd only just moved and the flat was still like a bit of a state and if I'm completely honest I don't love alone time especially if it's like not in a space that I don't know like I don't mind alone time in my own home or even like if I've got stuff to do around London but like I just felt a bit lost it was just the right decision I was in a bit of a weird like headspace that week and I've since came on my period and I feel like that kind of explained it because I was like feeling really low feeling really low energy feeling a bit just like down and just being able to wake up here on Monday and just like get stuff done that would have been bothering me had I come back late on Friday night and then been at work for the rest of the week so definitely the right decision Decision. Also, Mamish, my favorite bakery, was closed um, that weekend, which was heartbreaking. And also, I really wanted to go to this vintage shop called Predilection, and that was also closed for refurb. And I didn't have much luck with thrifting. I went into so many different free P stars or Freep stars, I don't know what it is. And then so many amazing pop ups, but all of the pop ups or like vintage stores that were like nice with nice stuff were just so overpriced i was saying to celeste there needs to be like more of a middle ground of just like nice curated but not extortionate and i feel like london does that quite well with pop-ups but i felt like a lot of the pop-ups that i went to in paris or even just like the vintage stores that were more curated were a bit more like kind of like west archive vibe which is in hackney like it's all stunning amazing archival designer stuff but it's all 
super super pricey and just like way out of my budget yeah i only got those sunglasses that i got in shea snow bunny and then that gray shirt which i love both of them so much so i'm very pleased with that but considering the amount of time that i spent in like vintage and secondhand shops i would have expected to come back with more but that's fine and i'm really excited to go with my boyfriend because he hasn't really ever been also it'll be like april so it'll be nice and warm hopefully and the sun will be shining and i feel like it'll just be like a slightly different vibe and hopefully i'll be in a better headspace than i was when i just went okay that concludes the paris vlog thanks for watching love you bye